They're done. Ambush asset down. Wasted. What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another video. In the background, you are watching a core TDM on Nuketown. I tweaked my setup a little bit. Um, now on the KN44, I got the BOA3, extended mags, fast mags, and suppressor. Suppressor, my friends, to stay off that mini map. It drives me nuts in the core mode how these noobs can see where I'm firing from. There are good things about showing up on the mini map because people tend to run at you, but I'm finding if I want to go on these really long streaks, I need the suppressor. So there you go. I took the stock off. It, it works. And this game could have been amazing if I would have got going just a little bit faster in it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I had a question back on that 100 kill fail on Verge where I talked about my five top albums of all time. One of my new subscribers, I Created Death, asked me, what are the top five weapons to use in hardcore? Now, if you've been with me for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about weapons in hardcore all the way back to like a month or two into the game. My list has changed, so let, let, me, let me list them out for you, and I'll start with number five, work our way up to number one. I'll give you some reasoning as to why. Uh, the number five weapon to use would be the Man of War. The downside to the Man of War is the fire rate, but the upside is so great in hardcore, and that is its one shot ability. If you hit anyone anywhere on the map, anywhere on their body, you're going to kill them in one bullet. So, if you have the accuracy and you play off head glitches, the Man of War is a beast of a weapon. Okay? Um, number four would be the HVK 30. Y'all have seen me play with that HVK 30 many, many times. Uh, my favorite setup on it is the BOA-3 with stock and uh, fast mags. Sometimes I'll put on the Varic Sight and extended mags, but I like to rush with that weapon. It has pretty good damage at range and the fire rate is great. Uh, number three, and this is a new addition, is the KN-44, which you're watching in the background. Since I've been playing core so much, I've gotten accustomed to the KN-44 uh, recoil pattern. Using the BOA-3 sight on it helps a lot as well, so I really like it. Um, I will still say at extreme ranges it's hard to control the recoil and then up close I hate the hit fire on it. The HVK beats it out but overall the one shot potential on it at medium to close range is great so I like it. Number two and you guys have seen me use this gun probably more than any of the other ones. The Razorback. I will say since the nerf to it back when the DLC 2 dropped on PlayStation 4 you know where they decrease the damage at range you know it does get frustrating at times I'll give you that but if you're if you're relatively decent with the weapon and you're good at holding your sights on the target long enough it shouldn't you know it shouldn't affect you too much the movement speed on it is great it's probably my favorite rushing gun in the game and so when I want to go for gameplays and I want to play up in your face I'm gonna use the Razorback it's my go-to weapon okay but the overall best weapon in hardcore and has been since probably a month or two into the game is the Dingo. And I'm thankful and also shocked at the same time that Treyarch has done nothing to nerf that gun. The fire rate is insane. The recoil is basically not there. Um, you get 80 bullets. You put stock on it. You can move relatively quick. I mean, the, there's no movement penalty really and it just shreds. You can, in hardcore, in one clip, you can kill 10 guys without reloading. You've seen me do this, okay? I have many kill chains with the dingo, and on most of them, I don't reload the weapon when I go in with it. It is an amazing gun. So there you go. If you want to dominate in hardcore, just put the dingo on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the background. I'm still kind of going for this 70 kill challenge, although it's kind of getting boring at the same time. So I have a couple challenges I may do on my own here, and we'll talk about them later. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what your five favorite weapons to use are in the game. And if you like what you're hearing, click that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.